In this video, we are going to learn about the increment and decrement operators and about how to use a counter. So here I've got a program that simply keeps track of how many apples there are. When I run it, it says there are 13 apples in the basket. Now, if I want to pick an apple and add it to it, I might say, okay, I picked an one and put it in the basket, and now I want to change the value of apple quantity to 14. I want to increase it by one. Well, there is an operator in C++, in fact, it was named after this operator, that increments, it changes a value by one. It's two pluses side by side, no space between them. Okay, it's called the increment operator. It's also called plus plus. And what it does is it takes the current value in the variable, in this case, the current value of apple quantity, and it increases it by one. So now if we print out how many there are, we should get one more. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. There we have, there are 13 apples in the basket. I picked one and put it in the basket. There are 14 apples in the basket. So we see how that change is made. We can do it again. And what happens if we do it again? Let's go ahead and print it out. It follows the exactly same rule, and it will simply increment it again. All right, so now there are 14 apples in the basket. So every time we add more and put it in the basket, or any time, every time we use the plus plus operator, it will increment it. Now, we're using the value here, and we could, in fact, increment it here. I'm going to back out. Uh, let's just do where we have one. So one of the things that you can do is you can embed it in the middle of an, um, an expression. So I could, instead of having a statement here, followed by the output here, I could, in fact, increment it right here in the Cout statement. But there's some important things to know when you do that. There are two ways that this works. So I can do apple quantity, just like I did plus plus, or I can do plus plus apple quantity. And in both cases, apple quantity will be increased. All right, so let's get rid of this one that we had. And so now we start with 13, and we increment it once, and we increment it twice. How many do we think we'll have here? We would expect that we would have 15. Let's see if that worked. And sure enough, we end up with 15 apples in the basket because we've done it twice. This is what is called postfix notation. And this one is prefix notation. And the way that they work is in postfix notation is that it uses the value, uses current value, then increments. As opposed to this one, excuse me, as opposed to this one, which increments first, then uses the new value. All right. Notice if it's a standalone statement that all you're doing is increment, it doesn't matter. It will produce exactly the same thing. So I'll comment this one out, and I'll just simply say increment it, and we're going to get 14. And sure enough, that's what we do. We get 14. I can, and that's with the postfix notation. Or I can comment this one out, and I can use the prefix notation, and I still get 14. They work exactly the same when they stand alone. Where they become different, and let me comment both of those out, where they become different is when I put them in a C out statement or in a mathematical expression or any other expression. So let's go ahead and let's do the postfix first. So here, now the postfix means the operator comes after the variable and it's going to use the current value and then increment. So here we have a C out statement, and if we print that, then what does it say? It says there are 13 apples in the basket, so it used the value 13, and then it changed it. So if we see out down here, and, and simply put the value of apple quantity um, after we're done, let's see what it is. OK, 
Okay, so I run it. What does it say? There are 13 apples, so it used the current value 13. Then it incremented it, so it really did change apple quantity by one. But it used the value first, so that's what prints out. If, on the other hand, if I use the prefix notation, then it's going to increment first and then use the value in the C out statement. So let's see how that works. Yep, there are 13 apples here. There are 14, so it incremented first and then used it in the C out statement, so you get 14. Notice that in both cases, it ends up with the same value. The difference is which value it uses in the specific instruction. There's also uh, a decrement operator that changes it by one. So we could say, I ate one, I ate an apple out of the basket. I ate an apple out of the basket. And now there are, and the decrement, op the decrement operator is simply minus minus. And it also comes in prefix and postfix notation. So let's see what the minus minus does. Now when I ate the apple out of the basket, I have 12. And in the prefix, it does the decrement first, so it subtracts one, and then it uses it. In the other one, if I use the postfix notation, let's see what happens. Here, it is going to use the current value, because it's postfix, so it's going to use the value in the statement and then decrement. So it makes a difference how that works, whether you use the prefix notation or the postfix notation with either the increment operator or the decrement operator.